officially had everything. He didn't hit him on purpose. And Dom goes down swinging, and Alvarado extricates himself from the jam. And we've got a lot of oh. screaming and yelling going on, and now Alvarado inviting Dom Smith to come at him, and both benches have emptied. This goes back to the Conforto hit by pitch from Alvarado in New York a few weeks ago. And to join this look ahead of him. Swing and a miss. Rizzo down on strike. It's tough. He has a lot of emotion when he's out there. And now they're tearing it from the Cubs dugout. They've gotten into it with Garrett before. Javi Baez and Garrett. And a little something, something going on. Yeah, again, we're not there, folks, so we can't see exactly what's transpiring uh, yeah. in the moment. He was he was kind of thumping his chest. I'm wonderful. And then uh, somebody from the Cubs dugout probably had something to say. I mean, he's a volatile guy. Bobby's unhappy, doesn't like it. And obviously protected his team quite well. Everybody's going to trot out after Kenna and Rojas were jawing at each other as Rojas made the last out. Looked like it started out with Peraza talking to uh, Rojas and then Stroman started walking toward him and then players from both sides came over. Well, Marcus. And it's up and in and you had to know that was coming. And Arenado nods out at Lopez as if to say, I knew. And now he says, come get me. And here we go. You knew something was going to happen, and here it is. Both benches empty, and they are really going at it now. This has been brewing for the last couple of days. And after J.D. Davis got drilled in the ankle, bodies start to fly. And it's these Cabrera who hit J.D. Davis is right in the middle of it. That's Pete. In the middle of it. Yoan Lopez, brand new to this team, but he knew what was going to be asked of him. And he dusted off Arenado, and Arenado took exception. He has been second. Into deep left center field, and this game. Stanton taking his sweet time. Oh, he got some chippiness. He's talking to Lindor. Oh, now it's on. Everybody's out on the field. Stanton answering back to Lindor. Umpires and coaches are doing their best to defuse the situation. Here come the bullpens. Oh, boy. Have you ever seen a guy stop mid-home run talk to mid-home run trot, that is, to talk? Never, never. Never watch, never as a fan, never as a player. <laughs> that was aggressive. We have a game, we have a series. It gets through. Almost picked off Tim Anderson, who's going to go all the way to third. And it throws a little late and down to second. 
Eaton is out. Oh, and he pushes the shortstop of Ed Rosario. And now Cesar Hernandez gets in there. And here come the benches. This is what the Indians might need right here. An early wake-up call on the south side of Chicago. Yeah, he was, uh, they better get eaten out of there. It was 6-0 last night, and he went to, to, to bunt one pitch, and the very next time he got hit, they better get him out of there. And this one on the ground, second base. So Dorr has it, secures it, and that'll do it. But another run scores for the Twins. And they had some insurance. What row? What do we got going here? Forsyth, Odor, Gonzalez, everybody else coming. What is going on? Sano mixing it up. Interesting. We did have a little hit batter situation on Thursday night. Kelly was involved in that. And he might have said something. It might have been Sean Kelly. I don't know. It's hard to know. A lot of times, you usually know what's happening going into a situation like this, but we are a little. Gonzalez was going after Lopez.